Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Now today we're going to be making a mite, a mite pizza, not a mite pizza. A mighty. A mighty pizza. A white pizza. A mighty white pizza. <laughs> so okay, we're going to cover it in a bit of uh, hard cheese first of all. We're going to put a fair bit on because we don't want it sort of, sometimes when you do these white pizzas, if the cheese isn't sort of heavy enough, then the pizza ends up rising up in the oven. And we don't really want the middle of the pizza to rise up. So we're going to try our best to make it not rise up. We've put a few wee fork pricks in it as well, just to help it not rise up, hopefully. So okay, we're going to make it with cheese and then we're going to show you the bit that we're going to do to decorate it afterwards. But uh, at the moment, it's just as simple as that. So we're going to, wait there, a wee bit more of this. Because it's no tomato sauce on it, this one. So we've got to make it a wee bit extra cheesy. So there we go, there's the cheese on. So we're going to put it in the oven now. And then we're going to do the next part. Right, I'm just going to... Uh, Put the peel on slightly, just to get it warm. I won't take long to get warm in this oven because it's 450 degrees, so. Nice and warm in there. So, there we go. On to the peel it goes. Oh, and I just ruined it. Cheese. I just moved all my cheese. I'm sure the dogs will eat that, mate. Look at that, I've completely messed it up. Right, let's try that again. Get the cheese evenly spread about the pizza. It will melt. That's the good thing about cheese, I guess. <laughs> Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right. It's round as I want it. It's going in the oven. So let's do it. Let's put it in. In you go. Right. Once I get it round. Because I'm a sucker for it being round. Oh, I like it being round though. You don't understand how important that is to me. <laughs> right, and it goes. Let's kick that and we'll do the next bit. Woo. That looks nice. It never roasts up in the oven. Uh, it's got a nice crust on it. So let's do the next part. Where are we? Right, let's find our ingredients. One toe. Okay, what we're doing here is we've got some homemade green pesto. So this is going on to our nice white pizza. So we're going to try and decorate this in some sort of way. Right. <laughs> A square. What are you doing? I don't know. I told you, we wing it on this channel. Uh, <laughs> okay, so there's our... Cube. Green pesto. And we've got some homemade red pesto. This is a um, very Italian themed coloured pizza, this. Yes. So I don't really know what I'm meant to be doing to decorate this. But okay, let's just wing it. So we've got. <laughs> Radio. Right. The red pesto is a bit thicker than the green pesto, but eh. Uh, there we go. That side as well. I thought it'll come off the spoon. I don't know what this is meant to be. That's it. Well yeah, done. Woo. Looks all right, doesn't it? Yeah. Artistic, that's what we call that. An artistic red pesto, green pesto, white pizza. Nice. What do you think? Have I done a good job for somebody who's not artistic? Very good. Yes. Let's try it then. Okay, so here's our red pesto, green pesto pizza. It's kind of... This is my attempt at something artistic. This is my little abstract pizza, shall we call it. There's the bottom. It looks quite nice. Okay. And here is the bite.
Mm, that tastes good. It's different. You've got this, obviously, putting red pesto on there. It's a bit like putting tomato on there. Sun-dried tomato, red peppers, tiny bit of chilli, olive oil, some pine nuts, a wee bit of basil. So it's, it's quite close to a tomato sauce, basically. It's just a fancy tomato sauce. Green pesto, same sort of thing. Cheese, basil, olive oil, garlic. So they quite complement each other. If you were going to put pesto on a tomato pizza, for instance, it's just kind of the same. It's just a bit fancier. So yeah, it tastes nice. I think it looks good. I'm not sure you will, but you can tell me if you think it looks good. I think it looks all right. Yeah, so that's it. That was our wee out-of-the-box idea. Why not try these things? Just try. If you don't succeed or if it, if it comes out wrong, it doesn't matter. At least you tried something different. You never know, you might create the next masterpiece pizza that everyone's talking about. So give it a go. Experiment, like, subscribe, leave a comment, check it book. We'll see you next time. Bye!